a street fight. Dumb Sanders taking it on. Rolando Perez. The ring announcer couldn't even get through the introductions. Perez went straight for Dump with a chair, but clashing like gladiators. Grabbing up in the corner. Oh! Big avalanche. Dump oh, nearly. No, no. Oh! In the midsection. Yeah. Oh! oh, boy. Dump definitely paying Perez back for bending his cane over Dump's back a while ago. Dump with a kick. He's going under the ring. He's looking for something. Perez came out hitting himself with the damn chair. Oh, Miami Ice is definitely our most violent, unhinged competitor here. What does Dump Sanders have in mind? Uh-oh. The tables are here. We got a table. I'm like, I'm like some uh, Indy Wrestling, we can afford the legs for the table. Indeed. Slam in Perez, head first. Unfortunately, that table won't last very long. I don't think so either. Uh, especially not with what Dump appears to have in mind. How many times have we seen this here at New South? Lord have mercy. A little old. The Cactus Jack. Oh, he's able to slide off the table there, Grease. Perez. He might try to go out the front door here. Perez he, definitely not going to let the New South Faithful have what they want. Oh! El Jefe fires back with a water bottle, but now fighting out toward the concession area. Oh, no. Uh oh. Well, the. We got, we got, we got to go with radio silence here. We can't, we can't see that. What's going on? Let's hope they don't tear the da damn thing down. We are not in Tupelo. Griezmann can only imagine that whatever is going on out there is just insane. We don't have the ability to follow the, the action with commentary. Out. The monitors are out here tonight, unfortunately. There's been some uh, crazy weather going on through uh, through the town. Oh, indeed. Knock, knock the internet loose. Monitors down. Oh. Grease Monkey is going to blame that uh, on, coronal event or whatever the science fellows are talking about the sun's doing. Oh, man. That's got to have something to do with it. Uh, all these fans going out trying to follow the action. When Perez said this was going to be a little Havana street fight, he meant it because apparently they've taken the action out to the streets. Taking it to the streets here in Hartzell. And like, and like we mentioned, this is this has been some bad blood brewing for quite some time here. Uh -oh. And I I don't know if I'm supposed to talk about it or not, but I saw Dump saying this could potentially be his last match. He doesn't know yet. Oh, uh, you never know what match might be your last, but we got especially the when you're taking matches out out of the venue and back inside like this. Oh, to the eyes goes Perez. Dump sliding back in the ring. There's that chair that he bit. Oh! A little Sabu action there. I think Dump was able to get the arm up, but still, that's a metal folding chair hitting your body. There's simply no give in those chairs. And oh, Rondo Perez just after that match that cost him the New South Heavyweight Championship, he just became more violent, more unhinged, and has aimed his wrath squarely at the general manager, Dump Sanders, blaming him for his loss of his corazón, the humongol belt. Oh, and it does, it does sound like uh, Perez has some supporters here in the crowd, but I think he just told him to shut up. He doesn't need anyone's support. He doesn't want it here from the New South Faithful. Oh. El Jefe does not play well with others. Oh, look at the back of uh, Perez. I hope the camera got a shot of that. A giant welt already formed. Cannibal! Oh. My 
Miami Ice dives directly into that chair, crushing the face of Dump Sanders. Our poor GM at the mercy of Miami Ice. He's trying to get this chair to uh, stay in the corner, but that's not how physics works. You gotta put some pressure on it. Oh! Perez, very creative with his violence. You never, you never know what kind of trick he's gonna go for next. Big slam. Oh! Right on that metal folding chair. Perez's back becomes reacquainted with that steel chair, but oh! Jawbreaker. Cuts dump off. It's the ropes. Oh! Baseman drop kick to the knee. Oh! Oh my God. We'll turn about a fair play there. It's a rope. This, Going for the flatliner. Oh. This is Perez's chance to get one back on Dump Sanders for the perceived slide of losing the championship. Oh! Only a two count. Somehow Dump Sanders able to get his shoulder up. Now just choking the man. It's a street fight, as legal as a wrist lock in this one. Indeed. Perez just looking to make sure he does as much damage as he can to dump Sanders. Taking out all his frustration on our GM. He's got an idea. He's gonna put that table uh -oh. down, maybe bring it into the ring. Perez seeming to remember that that table was out there. Able to get it in the ring by uh -oh. himself. Perez has evil intentions in mind. Forcing the referee to help him plot Dump Sanders' demise here. Right. Oh no. Oh, oh again. Reese Monkey has been to the streets of Little Havana, and this is exactly how Rolando oh. runs things there. He blamed the referee for his offensive maneuver. <laughs> well, when you are El Jefe, everything is everyone else's fault. Right. Pounding away at that back, and you know, Dumb has has the vest on, he has the shirt, but he's been pounding away with that chair all match. I'm sure his back is looking like Perez's underneath that garment. Oh! 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 Dump Sanders catches Perez and sends him clean through that table. But I think he might have done damage to his elbow with that slam. He wasn't, he didn't go for the immediate pin. Oh. Anytime you introduce an item like a table, you take the risk on yourself. Now oh. slugging away in the middle of the ring. Just pounding away here. Blocks the shot, dump. Sh shades of Tyson and Holyfield. Going for that big choke slam. Uh-oh. Nope, nope, switches it up. Sheer drop body slam there from Dump. Dump trying to use the size advantage here. Oh! That hard head of Perez absorbs all the impact. Sends him off the ropes. Oh! And that's a long way down. Big back body drop there. The founder of New South calling for that big choke slam. And you know it's curtains. Every time he hits that choke slam, fans getting behind him. Perez is simply out of it, getting groggily to his feet. Got the goozle. Oh, to the top of the head. I think he, I think he had knocked. He's got knocked. Perez has got the brass knocks. Oh. And, oh, come on. There's nothing the referee There's can do. There's simply nothing the referee can do. No! Oh! Able to kick out after the knucks were used. 
somehow Dump Sanders survives the knuckle duster assault from Rolando Perez here. I know it's cliche, but he's got to be thinking, what do I do? Oh, oh that God. might do it. Oh, Perez just wailing away. Come on. The, this referee might have to step in here. Grease like, geez. Perez working on the railroad. Good Lord. I don't but think they... Somehow, Dump oh, Sanders is back on. up. But... Oh, there's... After the loogie to the face, Dump makes his way back up. Go for that choke slam. Oh! In the middle. No! Wow. And somehow... Perez is able to find a little gas left in the tank. How many times have you seen that? Someone kick out of the choke slam? Are you kidding me? It does not happen very often, but. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, and again! Oh, what a long way down. Breaking him in half with that power bomb. Is that enough? No! Good lord! Oh, oh, to the eyes. Perez just will not stay down. This is Perez's wheelhouse here. He can do whatever he wants. Indeed. Choke the man, use brass knocks, go to the eyes. The metal folding chair. You give Perez the freedom of not being disqualified and you will see some unhinged violence. Oh. Once again with Santa. the goozle up Going on up the top. The top rope. Oh, oh no! Oh, and a super choke slam. That's it. And Dub picks up the win here.